Hi there. Today we are going to be going over exactly what you need to carry with you to and from your place of work. Everyone always asks me, Sean, why are you so into bags? Why are you so into gear and kit and bags? Well, when it comes right down to it, the things you own should be, you should put the absolute utmost thought into them because you're spending your hard earned dollars to buy a product that should be useful and should be able to stand up to some use. The way you carry these products around with you, of course, would have to be bag. The final session of bags that you want to, the bag you're probably going to use more than any other bag. The end all be all bag should be your work bag. And what I've chosen to employ as a work bag is a hatch range bag. I uh, find that the range bags look like everyday bags. No one really looks twice at them. They look kind of like, you know, the kind of bag someone would carry to and from work. They're not quite as hardcore as a backpack. They're a little bit more versatile in webbing and they enable you to carry a lot of equipment. Laptop bags I found for the most part are a waste of time. If you can skip past that, go with a range bag because it's designed to carry heavier equipment. It will last you a longer time. The bag I wound up going with was a hatch bag. It's made by a company called Hatch. I'm not uh, really recommending you should go with Hatch particularly. This was their bag I bought. I got it for dirt cheap. It was like, uh, I think it was 80 bucks at Dave's or something like that. That's Canadian. It's probably made in Vietnam or something like that and you can get all political about it, but the bottom line is if you need a good strong functional bag for cheap this would be the way to go moving around the bag it's got a lot of really interesting features it's got a shoulder strap comes with that is detachable which is great because if you don't want to be lugging that thing around I'd recommend leaving it on because if you take it off everyone knows you'll lose all your parts to all your equipment the minute you remove them so I always leave mine attached and it's got of course the the carry handles with a little velcro strappy on them I don't even know who started that velcro strappy but I think it's a good idea generally speaking mind you velcro is bad because it's loud so if you're going to be having it in your car you put it on the passenger seat it'll sit very nice so your seat belt can hook around and keep everything in place. Going around the outside of the bag, the things that are open are the things you need, are going to need first, okay? The things that are most commonly you're gonna need. I keep a lunch, a spare set of food right here. This is uh, what I like to call my Afghanistan special. This guy here is a menu number two, bornless pork chop. I think they should be dropping these on mass over there. I think they'd be great, you know, they're perfectly useful. It comes with a, a heater bag. Everything you need in here to have a hot meal except for a little bit of water is, is in here. There's a heater pack in here, everything. So this guy here is a menu number two and uh, unfortunately the US government property it's commercial resale is unlawful uh, so you can't uh, you can't uh, you know sell these which is kind of weird commercial resale so I guess if you uh, if you sell them commercially it's bad but they sell them at Dave's so you can buy them there anyway uh, and also you want to have some water now, a thermos is a very, very handy thing to purchase. You can get them anywhere. You can get really high-grade thermoses. I like stainless thermoses. You can you can subdue them with colors if you want, paint it matte black, but always have it full of hot water. Hot water is hard to come by when you're out in the bush. It's, it's a difficult thing to come across. You have to build a fire. You got to get pots. You got to get the water, make sure it's clean. You got to get it hot. But thanks to technology, we now have thermoses, which will hold more than enough water to make an instant coffee or uh, just in case you need warm water to wash your hands or in case you need it for sanitary reasons, whatever. Having hot water is always essential. As well, I work in security, so the uh, only thing I'm really allowed to carry is a flashlight. Now, Canadian law stipulates that security guards are allowed to carry a three-cell mag light. This is it. This is all, as of right now, as 2004, you, all you can carry at this moment in time. It uh, cannot be any longer than three cells long. If, if it is, then it can be, they, they can argue that it's a club and a weapon. But this is what the modern civilian has reduced the armament to in Canada. This is what, what we're allowed to carry, is this flashlight. And uh, even if you have a folding knife if you can open it with one hand they can claim that that's a prohibited weapon so really this is it this this one here you can get for about oh between 30 and 40 bucks uh made in ontario in the united states and of course it's a mag light now of course you got a, you've always got your led light on your belt but uh having a mag light is always handy because it is heavy sometimes you need a heavy stick it's good to have a heavy stick and they mount very very conveniently to here also ironically enough i don't have it with me today but a katana mounts on this perfectly well especially uh if you go with a smaller katana like a ninja toe or something like that it only comes out to about there in ontario knife company make a combat sword which I've modified purely for my own entertainment purposes that mounts this bag perfectly. For right now legally all you're allowed to carry is in fact one mag light. Uh, over here I've got my LAN cable because I use this for my uh, you always want to make sure you got a cable. Everyone brings a, a Wi-Fi card and they bring their car but nobody's got cables. Remember your cables. Then you've got this little unit here comes off. This is a this is the flashlight holder so it just straps on your belt and then drops in. Made by Calder Ridge. There's any number of these on the market and in here I keep an emergency road flare. Flares are great because it's really hard for them to stop working once they start. If uh, you need light right now and you're outside, like how many times have you seen that happen in movies or what have you, where the be outside or something, the flashlight starts to flicker, you know, they're investigating something and the flashlight starts to go, fuck that. No, that's when you start breaking out flares. I'm sorry, oh hey, my electronic
much is starting to go. Let's go with good old-fashioned chemical reactions. Really hard to stop those. And as well, I've got a uh, Canadian Forces boot band attached to the, a spare key. Now this key here is kind of hidden a little bit. You don't want to broadcast that it's attached to that. So you tuck it inside this little slot here down, and that key is for this lock. Now you keep one key on your belt, you keep one key attached to your flare, or in, a, in another location hidden around the bag in case you need to get into the bag. But sometimes if you're in a location or you're at a hotel, you're at a con or something like that, you want to make sure you lock your equipment. So these bags come with extra large rings on them here, where you lock all of these little snips together. Right? You take it through there, through there, and then through here, right? And you kind of weasel it all up. And you could probably hook another one in there and just snap her down. And then that's it. It's very hard to get into this bag now. Now granted, they can pick up the bag and they can run with it. But let's say like you've got your laptop in here, you've got some Wi-Fi equipment here, you've got your digital camera in here. You want to make sure that it, you just want to slow them down. If they're convinced they're going to get into this bag, I mean, it's nothing. If I want into this bag, I'm just going to open the bag up and go from there, right? But the idea is to show that the bag is secure and there's people concerned with security. So I always recommend having a way to lock your kit. Kit left adrift must be a gift. Always make sure your gear is secure. One wog, one kit. Now moving around to the side pouches here. On the outside here, they got a, a variety of pouches. You can configure this any way you want. I keep uh, a cell phone charger in here just so that uh, you can plug into the wall or whatever. Because bear in mind, if you're at work and something goes wrong, you're eight hours a day. How long do you actually spend inside your house? How long do you spend near the rest of your kit? So you got to make sure you got everything you need with you in case something were to go wrong in this one bag. On the side here, I've got a power adapter. Everyone should have one of these. You can get them anywhere, Canadian Tire, any of those little Circuit City stores. Take any car uh, cigarette lighter and transfers it to a uh, to a power source. You can use it to recharge your laptop batteries, what have you. On to the other side. Oh wait, but there's more. Interesting feature about this bag, which you didn't even notice and I didn't tell you about. But inside, if you look, there's actually a hidden compartment right here where you can keep extra documents and things of that nature in case you've got, you know, fake ID or whatever. You can throw that down in there. As well on the side here, I've got my uh, my watch programming case because my laptop's inside and I've got a PCM CII card reader that goes with USB so that I can transfer data with my digital camera. Again, you got to be bear in mind that you may not be able to get back to your house to be able to look at images. So if you have to do any editing or uh, email data on the fly, you've got to go from there. Before we get inside, let's look at the other side here. This one's really straightforward. I keep, keep two lemon canisters here. This was the uh, covered with cooking with Sean Kennedy. These two canisters are enough fast uh, fast fluid to keep one person sustained for about a day. So with both of these and this pack and the water,